Aloha, my name is Dr. Tara O'Neill. I'm the creator of the STEM Squared Framework and director of the master's program that runs out of the College of Education at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Thank you for the opportunity to get to share, even if by recording, uh, to get to share a little bit of an introduction of the framework uh, and a project we are proposing to work collaboratively with Kanabalu Saba uh, for the implementation of the framework in a Malaysian context. In this presentation, I'm going to briefly introduce the STEM Squared Framework and share about the proposed project. So the STEM Squared Framework is uh, made up of three parts, research, pedagogy, and service. Research refers to both the research we draw from and the design of the framework and understanding its multiple many aspects, and the research that we've engaged in over the last 11 years, studying the framework itself and its implementation in uh, various contexts around Hawaii, uh, across the United States, uh, and in Japan. Um, the pedagogy is the practice of the implementation of the framework. It's our way of being in teaching and learning spaces. And the network is the collection of people, collaborators, uh, and community partners that uh, both inform our research and our pedagogical practices. To learn more about these three pieces, please feel free to go to the STEM Squared website that can be found either at the top of the screen um, with this address or by going through the QR code. STEM squared as an acronym stands for science, technology, engineering, math, the traditional STEM, with the integration of social sciences and sense of place. What's important in this image is to note that sense of place is the middle of this uh, honeycomb that allows for the integration of all of these content areas. And we've got the addition of sense of place, drawing from the literature that talks about STEM education as work towards real world problem solving. And that we function by the notion that if we're really solving problems, real world problems, we have to understand the context of those problems. And the context of those problems comes from the content of the social sciences. The framework and, and its acronym itself, but the framework is grounded in five pillars that I'll explain in a little bit more detail in the next slide. These five pillars, I'm covering the word pillars, these five pillars are mo'olelo, so these are stories that expand and deepen our knowledge. That's a native Hawaiian term. Um, A'o, which is a, a process of being reciprocal teaching and learning. We borrow that from that explanation from Dr. Manolani Myers. Um, she talks about it as a ping pong ball that goes back and forth. A'o, A'o in this constant space of everyone is in reciprocal teaching and learning that you are at all times both a teacher and a learner. Uh, advocacy, which means to uh, s support and engage in, in matters of creating awareness and access in learning spaces. Sense of place, which is understanding our identities and connections to our communities and our roles and functions in sustaining community and makavalu, uh, also a native Hawaiian term that literally translates to um, seeing through eight eyes or literally translates to eight eyes. Uh, we, we look at it through a lens of seeing through multiple lenses and multiple angles at the same time in our process of real world problem solving. These five pillars overlap with the content areas um, and part of the research part of the framework is then understanding how these pillars intersect with the individual content areas and how their intersection uh, impacts the roles that we play in problem-based and project-based learning and really engaging in, in learning that is meaningly connected to the sustainability of our individual communities. And in that way, this framework is a very place-based framework, which means it doesn't necessarily uh, look exactly the same in every place because it depends on the needs uh, of, of the places that the framework is being implemented. So for this project, I'm going to move my face over here. For this project, we have the idea of creating uh, modules. Uh, it's, it's based off of a pilot that uh, Shoba can hopefully speak to a little bit more, but creating modules that teachers can plan for social science teachers to integrate STEM uh, into their subject teaching practice. We will do that by engaging in two webinars to share more in-depth information about the STEM Squared Framework, and then three workshop groups uh, to work with 
selected teachers on, on what does this mean for, for building toward implementation in their teaching and learning spaces, and then some online communication platforms uh, for that component that is the network uh, to get to feed uh, each other's continual growth, support, and development. Uh, below, you can see the target and duration for participants, and I'll let Shoba talk to that um, with a bit more detail, uh, as well as the proposed outcomes. Mahalo Nui, thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to the opportunity to see you in real time uh, at another meeting opportunity. Mahalo.